Hey, good morning, more Medic One. Hey, I'm out here at one of my facilities. I've got a no start on this grasshopper and uh, the customer states that it ran out of gas. He refueled it, and now it won't start. Well, the first thing that I noticed was, what in the world do we have going on here with the gas cap? cardboard and some kind of velcro contraption I mean just look at the dirt and debris down in that filler neck I mean just look at all the grass just piled up underneath this deck I mean it's so thick that you can't even reach over there and get it out it's gonna to have to be blown off. My goodness. put about a half a quart of oil in there man these i tell you what that just aggravates the absolute piss out of me is the abuse that these machines take and it's not necessary gosh dog it look at the dirt i mean just filthy so the first step that i'm going to take in the diagnosis of this no start is just let's just see if it's getting fuel he said he put gas back in it. And just spin the motor over and see if fuel squirts out of the fuel pump. And it does not. So now I'm going to remove the fuel line to the inlet side of the pump. And I'm literally going to blow And it's clear all the way from here to the tank. And the only other thing left to do is just to see if this hose here, this is the one that operates the fuel pump. This is the crankcase, uh, the pulse to the from the crankcase. And all you can do is just unhook it and inspect it and make sure it has no you know cracks or something in the hose that could possibly keep the fuel pump from working but I think we got a bad fuel pump I don't have one of these on the truck I'm gonna have to go get one but pretty sure this is gonna be the problem alrighty guys we got a new fuel filter and we got a new fuel pump and uh, yeah you uh, keyboard commandos are gonna be like Oh, more medic. It's a Kawasaki part. It's not going to work on that Kohler engine. You're going to put that Kawasaki part on that Kohler engine and it's not going to run. It's going to blow up the motor. It'll work. I promise. All righty, guys. Let's go ahead and replace this fuel filter. I don't know how much debris is down in that tank. Always follow the arrow on the filter. That's the way that the fuel is going to flow. So. I don't particularly like these dual barbed filters it has a quarter inch and five sixteenths but that's what they that's what they do actually it's less than quarter inch on the first barb so I push it all the way to the front yeah 
and that should be good to go there. If you need to twist your hose around, you can do that. Go ahead and mount your fuel pump. Now these are plastite screws, super coarse thread plastic screws. They don't have to be super tight. You're just going into a little plastic bushing. So just take and tighten them down by hand. Go ahead and slide your vacuum pressure line on your pulse line as you can tell on the fuel pump it says P for pressure right there or pulse excuse me P for pulse sometimes I feel like I don't have a pulse working on this stuff what do you guys think Install the gas line from the tank. Now, let's just verify that we're getting fuel from the tank through the pump now. Oh yeah, we got good pumping action. That carburetor is probably going to be dry, but we're going to choke it. Let's see if she'll light off. Get this old fuel filter out of the way. Oh man, almost didn't have enough battery. little bit of a surge to it. It'll probably clean up once it warms up. Yeah, see there? One thing that I do notice now, it's missing the air filter, the cover on this side of the air filter. I don't, I don't understand. How can they lose, the, how do you lose that gas cap? How do you lose the cover on the air filter? That's just beyond my thought process. Do I even dare to check the air filter? Not bad, but not good. I don't know if I can, you can see the daylight through there. Yeah, there we go. It's not that bad. I've just serviced this mower last year. They don't use it a whole heck of a lot we got a happy customer all righty guys we got that little grasshopper going one more time and the customer's happy that's always a good sign but anyway hey if this content helped you out give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and hit the bell to get all my new notifications we'll catch you guys on the next one have a great day